my creative powers of imagination and my connection to all encompassing consciousness show me the way to realize my ideas. So let your star rise and stay in contact with the earth. Trust your environment and find ways to let others share in it. You will be tested and recognized by the fruit you bear. Welcome to the star card and Luna and the Druid. Hello Luna, how are you? After it, hello, I'm, 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 I'm good. I was just going straight into it. <laughs> <laughs> that may be saying hello wouldn't be such a bad thing at all. Hello and welcome. Um, hello and welcome. Yeah. After an upheaval of the, the tower created, the full encounters the star, which brings a sense of calm and renewal. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, uh, the, the the tower was a big a big moment and there's always a, a, a tower a moment after the tower and that's represented by the three cards that come next the star the moon and the sun and everything gets better everything improves after the 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 the, the process that the tower puts us through we already said in the in the in the tower card the, the episode of the card that towers towers represent processes it's not the end all and be all it's something you have to go through sometimes the dark night of the soul sometimes upheaval things falling apart things getting destructed but always for a cause that says yes we're onto something better now we're we're improving ourselves the down after the um, storm that calm after the storm is represented by the star. Sh shall I begin with some, um, some, shall we begin with some representations of the stars through the ages? And uh, I have a few, a few, pre a few prepared and uh, let's go there. Yeah, that is my favorite part. The first thing. Yes. <laughs> we go from the Tower de Marseille through the Rider Waite Tarot and then the modern depictions. And they all look similar. As you can see, there's a, a goddess, Aphrodite or Nuit, which doesn't really matter who you, who you pick or maybe pick one and stick to that one. She pours water into the pond and she puts water into onto the land in, in all cases. Um, they have all eight-pointed stars in the center. And of course, the eight-pointed stars uh, rep represent um, uh, balance, cosmic balance, a renewal, um, the wheel of year, of course, the eight festivals we have in the wheel of the year, uh, justice, it is the number of justice. So, yeah, uh, very, very interesting. Um, but also what we see in the Toth Tarot and in the Marseille that we also have seven pointed stars. There are seven stars in all of them. And of course, the seven stars represent the planets, uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Venus, Mars, and Mercury. And in the time uh, we these cards were created, we called the moon and the sun also planets. And the star then would be uh, the universe itself. And it's also depicted here in the in the in the toss tarot the universe it's this is not earth this is not the moon no this is the universe and the star card transcends the universe even mm -hmm. so very interesting um so the seven the seven points the days of the week the seven chakras uh the seven planets that's the the, the gist of the seven points so marseille deck from roughly mid 17th century 20th century deck, the, the star card in the uh, Rider Waite. This is the Tarot Illuminati, a very interesting card, uh, very detailed. Uh, and this is 21st century, very modern. Uh, always a, uh, a separate ent entry for the Toss Tarot because the Toss always does things different. Um, and here, Nuit, the goddess, pours water onto herself and into the river. We see three stars, uh, uh, one outside, one inside the universe, and one in the 
in from from the cauldron um, and so she pours the richness and the renewal on herself and she pours the hope and uh, faith and inspiration into the river and renewal um, similar ideas in the in the druidcraft tarot where the star pours water again in uh, the land and the and the sea but there's no uh, seven or eight pointed stars visible in uh, in the background so the uh, all of them uh, goddesses all of them are pure and innocent hence their uh, their nudity um, so pureness innocence um, strong strong entities love sexuality everything is there in uh, the star cards what about yours luna oh, i brought few different ones and I have them laid on the table and it's actually, actually interesting how similar they are. I will start with a classic and career tarot. Um, here you can see the seven pointed stars which you mentioned um, already yeah. but she is pouring. I love the connection between the temperance and the star card with, with, uh, the temperance and the star card which is very clear in this particular card where you can see a woman Kind of sun or moon behind her, and she's pouring that water behind her. I'm trying to get my connect, my camera to focus, but it's not operating too too well today. But what's new? I love this. And is she pouring the water so, into other? Yeah. Yes, she's pouring water into the body of water she stands in, mm, which to me, well, it represents. Okay. Um, things about uh, um, a bit later in our points another one which is one of my favorite starting with the spiritual world and it's very clear on this card here where she has her eyes closed she's not pouring any water however she's going within and connects with the universe she turns up and same this one here the lights um, the star where you can even see the thread connecting her. I'm not sure what's going on with this camera today. It keeps losing focus. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Interesting approach here with the position uh, she she takes on. The, the water is flowing itself. And it's like she's covering, protecting herself nah, a little bit, which is quite unusual because normally the star card and the goddess you mentioned on the star card is very um, upfront she's confident here not so much and last but not least a beautiful beautiful star from the star tarot with all the elements here this is just fabulous she's not pouring any water however she is testing the water so she's connecting the spiritual world with the physical realm <sighs> lovely <laughs> love it <laughs> it's an interesting card because you can't have too many visions of the star card however the star card itself has many meanings and the fool can learn a lot from from the star uh, it's a pretty unique very positive in my opinion card one of my favorites for sure um, because it brings hope renewal that that light after the dark period um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So how about we jump into the lessons, the full yeah, lessons? Yeah, let's jump into the lessons for the full. Mm -hmm. um, we have seven lessons today. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. quite a lot, quite a lot of ground to cover. Uh, the star for the full brings, to, teaches the full hope and inspiration, healing and renewal. Point three, faith and trust. Point four, guidance and inspiration, authenticity and truth vision and aspiration and the last but not the least again spiritual connection uh, up here you see the the card from the light seers tarot um luna you 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 talked about this card a, a bit can, can you can you s tell me what you see in this card um the star tarot you mean no light seers tarot is on the is on the slide yes well first of all 
the lady is to me she is meditating or at least enjoying being out in the nature connecting with uh the connecting with the heavens and simply praying praying for whatever she wishes for herself uh, she looks up to the sky so there is that big bit of guidance she is turning herself uh, into or onto or to <laughs> and just to see the light she wants to be guided by that light she wants to be guided but by, by by that shining star and yeah. there is that threat which is holding which to me represents that connection and that power of combining the world of dreams which is um the, the spiritual world and then the world of uh physical yeah, the world. cosmic threat yeah yeah the cosmic threat that's uh, that's 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 what i see here too that's mm. very interesting uh, so uh, the threat between ourselves and 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 the cosmos and in and, and, and that perspective i see a very different energy than in all the other cards in this uh, light sea tarot but uh, i kind of like it <laughs> i kind of mm. like it so let's um let's continue there um we have the, our first point was uh, hope and, ins and, and inspiration. Uh, like you mm -hmm. said, we, we came from the tower and we're going. Uh, uh, yeah, after this tower moment, we, we, we've, we have faith, we have hope. There's always hope. Uh, in my country, there is a saying that hope dies last. So that thread, sometimes we have only one thing we can hold on to is hope. Yeah, the cosmic thread. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's true. And then so the, the, the brighter future is possible. That's that's what the star card show, tells you when it shows up in a reading. It's also the lesson for the fool. Uh, even in the darkest, the darkest of the darkest times, follow the guidance by the star. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Second point, healing, renewal. Mm. What shall we say about that, Luna? Go for it. Go for it. Okay. So the importance of giving yourself time, the importance of time to heal, to rest, to rejuvenate, to recharge your batteries, um, to go on a holiday, to yeah, to heal yourself, to pour water on on you, or go in the flow uh, to get to yeah, to be, to become better, to 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 take care of yourself. It's essential for continued growth that you take care of yourself, that you look after yourself, that you're not neglecting the physical needs and the mental needs of rejuvenation and renewal. Mm. As well as understanding that even in the darkness times that hope and, and renewal are possible. It's not that when it's dark, there is no light. No, it's that the star gives you hope um, for that renewal, for that change, for that events to turn uh, a little bit for better. Yeah, from from hard times into positive times, that's that's true. And then then you come to the to the third point that the fool needs to have faith, needs to trust the process, uh, faith in yourself, faith in the outcome, faith in the universe. <laughs> We talked mm. about the universe recently in in our Monday podcast when when we talked about a manifestation. Uh, so bring your dreams up front. Put yourself in the center uh, and, and have faith that the universe will bring out the best for you. It's about trusting the process and believing that the journey, no matter how challenging, is leading into something beautiful. Fourth point, guidance and inspiration. The star is seen as a guiding light. We see the, the light of the star. We meditate on the star, like, like you saw in our, uh, you could see in our slide, where 
um, where she meditates and finds guidance and finds inspiration from within and from the world around you. It's finding direction, it's finding clarity, it's finding inspiration uh, of the road ahead. Even though you can't see the whole road ahead, but you can see a bit of the road in front of you. And you have to have uh, faith and trust that the guidance the universe will give you is is there um, yeah, to give you direction and clarity. Authenticity and truth. And of course, the star inspires you to be true to yourself. And we have a guest in the show. And she's always very true to herself, our producer. Absolutely. Carmen. Especially when something is going out on, outside. Yeah. Um, yeah. But she's her authentic self, Luna. Absolutely. When she wants to bark, she will bark and I can shoot her all I want. That's usually yeah. when I disappear out of nowhere, out of the scream. You can tell that something's going on with the producer. <laughs> And that's not only what we can learn from the star of the show, but also from the producer of the show. Um, that take off your mask. She doesn't have any. It's a very we good. As humans, we as humans always carry carry masks, you know. <laughs> and then she is indeed the embodiment for um, my guiding light. Yes. Yeah, she is, she is the star of the show, the star and the producer of our show. So um, being authentic, being true to yourself, living in alignment with your true self, uh, it's, uh, yeah, shed the mask of pretenses. Be mm -hmm. yourself. All the others are already taken. Also, finding that direction and clarity. I'm not sure if you talked about it already because she was barking and I couldn't hear much. Um, but that that finding that direction we can see in those cards where they are looking at this star. This is an important aspect of the star card because many times in life we can feel like we got lost or we don't know the direction. We don't know what is the next step to take. And star card can bring us that hope and trust that whatever is meant for us will will just find us. Yeah, we will, so we find a lot of a lot of star cars very introspective, as she's very caught up into her, her uh, activities. While we in the Tostero, we find the same idea as uh, more or less as in the as in the the, the, the light seer's tarot, which we have on our slide. I can show it again. She's looking up for guidance and inspiration. That's where her where her real purpose, where her real um, your reality comes from and mm -hmm. um, yeah so guys and inspiration covered authenticity and truth then vision and aspiration dreaming big Luna <laughs> oh yeah we talked about dreaming it. big the manifestation and yeah. dreaming big already on Monday and I absolutely encourage you to watch that live if you haven't because it was a great discussion with so many aspects of uh, that topic. Um, but yeah, I think it's, yeah. it's important to first of all uh, have uh, faith in whatever we want to manifest and, and have the desire, have the vision uh, and have the aspiration being capable of taking action and not just sitting and dreaming, doing nothing, no. uh, but just doing and set our goals high, dream big, as, as you said, because very often no. it's our own limiting beliefs which we which limit ourselves, our life. Very often uh, the way we think about our capability of doing something, achieving something. And that's a big, important aspect of the star card for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that's, uh, that's one of my favorite sayings. Uh, I always say, aim from the moon. Mm. If you miss, you'll end up among the stars. <laughs> I love it. Yes, and it's also one thing my 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 teacher uh, Mike Dooley always says to the universe: it doesn't matter if you want to have one million 
or 10 million euro. The universe doesn't care. It's, to them, it's the same. They have infinite, infinite amounts, infinite possibilities. Uh, you want to be the number one, uh, you know, go for it. Aim high, aim, aim strong. Um, yeah. Envision the life you really want and work towards that goal. Yeah. Don't ask how. Just see it. Feel it. Um, I was on a call today uh, on a group coaching and there was a great question, which I absolutely love. And it was, if financial restriction, if finances wouldn't be a case, if we would take this off the table, what would you do? if finances wouldn't be a problem, if it wouldn't be up to finances? And that's a, such an important question to ask ourselves because very often we see money as restrictions, especially not having enough or certain amount of money. We see that as a restriction. But if we take this off the picture, then we can dream big. And the answers which came through were absolutely stunning. And I think some of the people wouldn't even think of what they would want if that one aspect of money wouldn't be uh, there. So, yeah, dream big. We have yeah, dream big. to lose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so was actually the, the, pri the primary, the first example I gave on, on the manifestation workshop that the guy that says, first, I'm going to make a crap ton of money and then I'm going to realize my dream, which in this case was living in the US. That was many years ago, maybe he changed his dream, but, but the idea was make make a crap ton of money isn't always the, the the end all and be all of all your dreams no it's it can even be be, be totally different you know I, mm -hmm. I i got invited in the most beautiful houses when i was completely out of money <laughs> and so i still lived in a in a beautiful home and i still sat in in lovely chairs and in luxury uh, the world is abundant just go out there be there believe in yourself be the star be your own guided light yeah, yeah. your own star absolutely there abundance is everywhere it's available to everyone but yeah. some people just don't choose to walk that path That's and abundance so doesn't mean a big amount of money don't get me wrong the abundance is way above that the money is just an example we are using here yeah so bringing us to uh to our final point of today Spiritual connection. Mm. <laughs> That's so funny because this 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 light seer tarot came came by accident today on this thing, and boom, there 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 it is. It not only gives you guidance and inspiration. The card always uh, also teaches spiritual connection, uh, the connection to the divine, the higher self, the universe, and uh, the role it plays in guiding yourself, supporting you, supporting your family, your community everyone around you spiritual mm -hmm. connection love yeah. it but it's also about balancing the material and spiritual aspects of life and, and trusting in divine guidance taking those signs and taking action towards them if we get the sign doing something about it not just receiving oh okay that's it no 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 it's all about bringing what's here into our physical existence into the physical realm I actually love the spiritual aspect um, of the start. It shows that we are not just the body. There is more to us. There is that energy, the soul the connected. We are one with God. We are God, one with everything. And the star reminds us of that. Yeah, yeah. So, if we... uh, I think it's uh, either very heavy rain at where you are. Yeah, it's raining heavily where I am. So when I'm when I'm not talking, I'll turn my I'll turn my microphone down and uh, and give give you give you a bit of uh, extra attention. Of course. Well, as I mentioned, I love the star card because it's so positive. And just like Jan mentioned at the beginning, um, it's the start of the positive changes coming, positive things uh, happening 
for the fool. Um, and he mentioned obviously the sun card, which is my favorite out of because of many, many reasons. Um, but uh, yeah, very, very positive card to have in the reading and to pull in the reading because to me it often represents that. Wish fulfillment in 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 to to the certain degree that the faith is needed there. But if we have enough faith, but we also take appropriate action, things will manifest and come to fruition. So yeah, um, very very lovely lovely card. That's for sure, um, and absolutely crucial on fool's journey because of that element of faith because when there is no faith it's hard to do anything or achieve anything that that faith is a very important aspect of our life and that's that connection with that higher energy mm -hmm. all right as you can hear, I'm still I'm still in the rain. <laughs> so I'll uh, for here I'm uh, I'm saying bye everyone. Thanks for uh, thanks for listening. Like and subscribe uh, to our channel and uh, like the video. Uh, and see you back soon. Yes, see you on Monday and uh, enjoy the full journey. We're nearly coming to the end. Uh, we've, we have five less than five cards actually uh, left. So. I'm enjoying the series a lot and hope you too. In the meantime, just like Jan said, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And bye. Bye. bye.